I play the games, yeah. I don't mess around, straight to the point. No need to expound, I'm just Jim. Oh, hello, everybody, and welcome to the video. Right, there's a new animation to do with the jump, the warp jump to another galaxy, right? And we're going to do it. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a monolith, right? So I'm doing the alien cartography maps here at the moment, and I'm trying to scan for a monolith. If you've not jumped to the core before, watch what I'm doing. So the alien cartography maps, you get them up in the space station, right? So this is what you do, right? You go down to the monolith, right? And you've got to answer three questions. I mean, you've got to answer one of three questions, right? You've got to get it right. On this particular time, I got all, th all two of them wrong, right? But I've skipped that. You'll see the little cut that I've made in the video. <laughs> it looks a bit disjointed, but, you know, I had to cut it because this video would have gone on for about 20 minutes, right? So, see I land, and then... I jump. There we are. That was, this is two t two answers later. You got to answer the co question correctly, right? And it gives you the location of a portal in that system, right? So remember, alien cartography maps, right? Find a monolith, answer the question correctly, right? And then it gives you the location of a monolith. We're going to go there in the ship now, right? You need a portal to get where we're going right so if you've got a portal already or the location of a portal and you have all the portal glyphs right yeah yeah you don't actually need all the portal glyphs to jump a galaxy but i'll show you right so what we're going to do now is we're heading down towards the portal right which is taking longer than expected right <laughs> it's just how it is i've done this tutorial three times already they're all in my playlists right you know but in tutorials so if you want a more in-depth version of it just check that out right now we're, ju we're just trying to jump the galaxy to see the new animation now then what we're going to do now is we are going to go to the portal once you're at the portal what you need to do is activate the portal okay in normal mode you i'm in creative at the moment in more normal mode you have to put different elements in here right you know to activate them like sodium and carbon and stuff like that right but in creative you can just do this right now we're going to go through the portal we're going to activate the portal and we're going to put all jellyfishes in or sunrises right to the end and it does this it says atlas transport error right so don't worry about that all you need to do and this what this will do it'll take you five thousand light years away from the core yeah, it takes you really close to the core of the galaxy because if you're wanting to jump to another galaxy in No Man's Sky, you have got to get to the core. You go through the core of the galaxy right to the other side. Yeah, so, you know, to another galaxy. So we're just jumping through now, right? I wish I would have cut this bit out, but hey, if you like to see some colourful, you know, whizzy me whizzing through to the 5,000 light years away from the core, you can. Right, we're getting close to it now. I should have cut this out, but hey, that just how it is, isn't it? Anyway, we're here now. Right, now then I'm going to bring my freighter into the sky because this is where you'll need it. And this is called Trump Town. <laughs> Trump pop, pop, Property System. Right, that, that's funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I get that funny emoji, right? So if you ever hear, right, I'm jumping from Galaxy 62 to 63, by the way. So there we go. I like that. That was pretty good, right? Now, then, let's go and get my freighter, right? You've got to get your freighter. If you've got a freighter, you need a freighter for this, right? So get your freighter in the sky because we're going to land on it, right? And this is where I'm going to do a lot of cutting and editing. And the game has put my ship on an edge of a cliff, a tiny cliff. Right, okay, let's go, right? There's all that area around by the portal and it puts my ship on the side, Anyway, let's go. Let's get into the freighter. Now then, we're in the freighter now. And what we're going to do is we're going to plough towards the core. So what you do is you select on the menus. I'll show you. Select on the menus at the top of the screen when you're in the warp map. 
to the galactic core, right? Because remember, we are 5,000 light years away from the core. But first of all, jump into a crappy ship that you don't use because you're going to have to fix everything when you get to the other side, right? So when you go through the core, you have to fix everything. So everything breaks, right? So let's get into the war map. Now then, we're going to select the galactic core, right? When we're not free explore, come on, the galactic core. So you find the route for the galactic core and it will show you the core. Head towards it in your freighter. Your freighter's got a bigger hyperdrive than your ship, right? If it's a decent freighter, it will. And you've got to find something called a gateway system. This is a system of planets right on the edge, right? If you don't get it correctly, right, what will happen is... It will uh, you, it'll direct you in the direction where the gateway system is. I'll show you, right? So I haven't guessed it correctly, right? So I've got to follow this path. So I'm going to follow the path right to the edge, right to the galactic core, right? Come on, Jim. There we go. That's the gateway system. Now then, once you're at the gateway system, I'm fast forwarding here, by the way. My ship can't go this fast. Right now, then, once you're at the gateway system, go into the galaxy map. Okay, remember you can always rinse and repeat this anytime you want. Right, and then all you need to do is select the, uh, the galactic core and push to the side. What it'll do is it'll put you on the core. And I'm going to let you watch the intro. Right, and I'll see you at the other end. Cool. Right, I fast forward that last bit, but this is the new bit, right? Before, you just used to end up on the planet, right? But what it does is, it does the same type of sequence now when you jump to another galaxy, like when you start an expedition or when you first start the game. So when you jump to a new galaxy, it does this intro where you get your gun out and it says shield ready, gun ready. But unfortunately for me, I'm on a planet with hurricanes. Yeah, you can see the hurricane swirling over there. Yeah, and guess what that hurricane's going to do? Yeah, he's going to pick me up, right? So we're going to go flying anytime now in the sky. So get ready for it. I'm going. I'm going. Yep. Well, it's initializing. It's ticking me up. Look, I'm looking at my gun. Yep. So <laughs> I'm above the clouds. Yeah, so that storm has just spit me above the clouds, right? So that animation wasn't on before. Now it is. I don't know what update it came out on, right? But I was told by a subscriber that the animations are now new for the Galaxy Jump. So if you're doing the Galaxy Jump, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's nothing extra. I think they've just put it in so it looks better, 
right? It's the same thing as what you have in the start of an expedition. Am I, am I on terra firma yet? No? Anyway, that's it. New animation. Cool. Time to fix everything. Awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm fixing everything. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope it's helped. And I'll see you in the next. Tatty bye. The gamer with no filter, keeping it real. No sugar coated glitters. I see the flaws. Yeah, I call them out. Giving feedback. No need to shout. I don't hold back. I speak my mind. Just tough love